I'm about to tell you something very shocking. The Gemara in Masechet Kiddushin talks about one of the greatest sages in our history. His name is Rabbi Yohanan. The Gemara says that Rabbi Yohanan, by the time he was born, his father already passed away. And his mother died at childbirth. So Rabbi Yohanan had no father and no mother. That's not the shocking part. The shocking part is what Rabbi Yohanan said after he learned the halachot of Kibud Avaim. You'll forgive me for this, it's going to shock you a little bit. Amar Rabbi Yohanan, Ashre, fortunate, Mi Shelo Hama'an. Fortunate is the one who doesn't have parents. He says, I feel lucky that I don't have parents. Feel lucky you don't have parents. What does that mean? What is he saying? Gemara says, Rabbi Zera, another orphan, one of the great sages in our history. Rabbi Zera, Gemara says in Pe'an Yerushalmi, that he was once feeling bad about the fact that he didn't have parents. He couldn't fulfill the mitzvah of Kibud Abba'im. But when he learned the halachot of Kibud Avaim and he studied all the different requirements of Kibud Avaim, he says, Thank God I don't have a father and mother. I don't know that I would be able to do this. Did you ever imagine a rabbi in the Mishnah, in the Gemara? These are from the greatest humans that ever stepped on the planet. Did you ever imagine? Could you imagine them saying, Oh, it's raining on Sukkot? Thank God, I don't have to sit in the sukkah. Oh, there's no lulav and etrog this year. Baruch Hashem, one less headache. Would you be disappointed if you heard that? These are the greatest people in our history who would do anything to fulfill a mitzvah. Could you imagine Rabbi Yohanan saying, fortunate I am that I don't have a father and mother? The reason why we don't say that is one of two reasons. Either we don't fulfill mitzvot so well, or we don't have any idea what this mitzvah of kibud avaim is asking from us. 